Hello, my gorgeous boo-boos. Hello, my beautiful Pisces friends. We're going to do your love reading today. I, I am wearing a toga. <laughs> I am. Um, I was just, um, yeah, I'm just wearing a toga today. Uh, this is going to be your love reading for you and your person. So whatever that means to you, boo-boo, situation shrub, relation shrub, bumble date, marriage. And we're going to be doing a reading for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And if you have uh, a lot of Pisces in your chart, boo-boo, this is a general reading. So just bear that in mind. And it is a timeless reading. So whenever it finds you, it's probably meant for you as long as it resonates for you, boo-boo. Uh, also, Pisces, the reason why I'm wearing a toga is uh, I'm I was just uh, recording a podcast today. It is my own, very own podcast with uh, my friend Demi Wild. We are going to be publishing it on April Fool's on the 1st of April, so tune in. It's all about love. It's called Tarot Love Doctors, and I appear in it as Goddess Psyche. And my friend Demi is... Uh, Cupid. So uh, it's all about love advice. It's all about love tarot and yeah, just being spiritual and cool. Uh, the Fool came out as I was talking about um, what kind of reading we'll be doing. I feel like some of you are on a new path. I feel like some of you are either getting over a breakup or uh, you're getting over a person or you're getting over a fantasy of a person. And I feel like you're kind of maybe you went through a period this uh, winter time as well. Uh, maybe taking stock of your life or taking stock of what it is that you truly want from a person and you're ready to mingle now. I feel like you're ready to kind of go out there and do your thing and follow your bliss. I feel like some of you boo-boos, you've been through bad stuff in your rela your past relationship, whatever it was, we'll see. I feel like this does pertain to the current reading. I feel like a lot of you... Um, it could have been like quite a dark connection, whatever you're going through with your person. And I feel like some of you are getting over it. And I feel like that that's come up. The fool has come up uh, because there's some baggage. The fool carries baggage. And I feel like uh, for a lot of you, you're watching this reading because you think this person isn't going to resurface anymore. And you're about to be surprised because this person is about to resurface. That's what I'm feeling here. Yeah, there's been a period of separation. Um, there was a breakup, a, uh, an abandonment here as well. I see abandonment, five of pentacles, boo boo. This person, uh, left you for dead, metaphorically speaking. They didn't care about what happened to you when they left. Uh, either they left or they made you leave or, you know, whatever the connection was, a bimbo, himbo a from Tinder, bumble. Uh, if it was like a marriage, it could be any connection, right? Um, but this person was just like, yeah, look at yourself. Like they just had no, like, they had no mercy on you. I feel like they broke up with you at your lowest point. Um, it was a, someone who was never really uh, committed emotionally, um, a bit of an emotional wreck here, a bit of an emotional hermit, uh, attachment issues, you know, drama from the past. This is just someone who, uh, was afraid to, to, to be vulnerable in a relationship. Uh, and they made you feel alone, someone who was juggling. Um, it doesn't necessarily mean that there was another person they were juggling. I don't think so. I'm not getting this vibe here. I'm getting toxic behavior vibe though. So I feel like this person was juggling their life in you, making you feel like you weren't that important to them. And in the end, they just abandoned you or uh, this person, whoever you were dealing with, Boo Boo uh, Pisces, this person said like so many horrible, unfeeling, cruel things to you that like you just could not go on. You could not continue. Uh, this person could have cr uh, criticized uh, the way you look uh, or uh, your status, like uh, job status, money status, like they always had an issue with you. Yeah, a lot of harsh words were spoken, ace of swords. Uh, these, all these cards uh, flew out, uh, eight of swords. Um, yeah, it just wasn't, it wasn't a good situation, Ms. Person. I feel like some of you were dealing with a toxic person, a gaslighter, emotionally unavailable. Take these as they resonate because it is a general reading, boo-boo. But let's see how this person is feeling now. I do feel like there's abandonment here, so take it as it resonates. Um, Let's see, some of you were dealing with a, also a long distance connection where this person just, um, they just were not as committed as they should have been, quite possibly because they were, they were lying to you about uh, how single they were. Let's see, how is this person feeling about this situation currently? Please show me angels, yeah. Hmm. A weird person. Um, let's see, please show me their feelings towards Pisces. 
Oh, look, the moon came up as they're feeling towards you. Uh, cancer energy, water sign energy, also Pisce Piscean energy in my mind. Uh, yeah, this person is very sneaky. They don't have the best intentions. I'm just going to be honest with you. Uh, wow. Let's see how you feel. I just want to look at something here because this is... Um, you're dealing with someone who has a lot of ego. I'm gonna, I'm telling you now, this person already feels like they can come back into your life and you're going to let them back in. Why do they feel like this? They probably feel like this because you're a good person and they take advantage. They're gonna come with some kind of an excuse to make you take them back. Uh, they're already planning it. Um, wow. Seven of Cups. You feel, you feel cheated and duped by this person, but you still have love for them with the Knight of Cups here and Four of Pentacles because it's hard for you to let go. It's hard for you to let go boo -boo, of this because you have so much love to give. And when you commit, baby, you're just like me. I'm a Scorpio. When we commit, we commit like heart and soul. But this person is like um, keeping this. I feel like this person feels like the happiness between you two is not over. Uh, nine of cups here. This is wish fulfillment, the way they feel about the situation. They're not stressing about the separation. They're not stressing about this breakup because they feel like when they return, look at this happy couple here to this like table, to this, uh, to your table, you know, they want to sit at your table again. And I feel like they, they think you're going to accept them. Um, why though? This is weird. Uh, they do know, for some of you, this person is aware they have competition. Like, like you might be seeing other people, talking to other people. This person thinks that they can always win. Like they're going to come back. They, it's like they know your uh, weak points. They know your triggers. They're going to come back and they're going to like uh, win with the competition. Two of Cups, reconciliation is what is on their mind. Uh, but it's a weird energy because they're feeling towards you. This is not the best uh, best intention, even though it is the moon. So it's goddess energy. It's very gentle energy. Um, it's uh, desiring someone energy, longing for someone. They certainly miss you. They're howling at the moon here. Uh, they miss you, boo, boo But this person is an egomaniac. Let me pull uh, some cards for intentions. What are this person's intentions, please? Yeah, their main intention is to send you a message. Uh, I think yeah, you, you will be receiving a message within a month from this person. Ace of Pentacles. Let's see. And how do they see Pisces? Ten of Swords. They know they hurt you, boo-boo. They know they hurt you. They, uh, they know it's it's pretty much over. Uh, I feel like whatever happened between you, they caused it to be over. And they know they hurt you. Um, let's see uh, next action. Please show me Angel's next action. I'm already telling you though, Pisces, I'm not getting a good energy from this person. This is someone who is actively already thinking and planning to come back into your life. Um, and they think, they think that you know, like whatever action they did, like is going to be forgiven. Maybe because you're so empathetic, they might give you some kind of a story, whatever it is. Um, but the reason why this uh, thing between you didn't work out is just because this person was qu quite cruel here with the five of pentacles. They didn't have a lot of empathy towards you. This person is coming back in. you got the sun, uh, a lot of talk and energy, uh, knight and um, king of swords here to have an important make it or break conversation. And the sun, something is going to become clear. This person wants clarity. And they're also going to come out of the, out of separation, out of the darkness. So you may not even be expecting it. It might all, almost be like a, a, a bit of a blinding sun energy, a big surprise. This person is going to come in, like they're blazing through, look, like two, two, uh, horse uh, riders here uh, in, in these images. So two horses coming in. This is someone who's all about communication. It may not be lovey-dovey though. I don't know how this person is going to come back in with a conversation, but it's definitely going to be, you know, sending a message, making that phone call, however that works out here with this page of uh, pentacles. But it's going to be, you know, this person is going to be blunt. They want to have like uh, a deep conversation. They want to talk about things. Um, Definitely, I mean, the sun is definitely reconciliation of some kind, someone who wants, but again, egotistical vibes too. Like this, is, this can be the dark side of Leo, which is like all about that one person, all about, uh, you know, everything revolving about that one person's uh, desires and what they want. Uh, let me pull some advice for you here. What is the advice for Pisces? 
So, you know, take it as it resonates, and obviously, like, it is up to you. It is your choice, boo-boo, but just be mindful. This person is coming back in. I'm not sure if it's just, I'm just not sure if it's a good person, period, you know? Obviously, love is blind. It is what it is, you know? We, we fall in love. We don't choose who we fall in love with. But the advice here is, like, pretty, yeah, the advice here, babe, you can't make it up, boo-boo. All these cards are moving on cards. Tower, Eight of Cups, and Six of Swords as your advice here, babe. So I'd say the advice here is remember what this person did to you. Remember what kind of pain they caused. Move on from this. Uh, move on from this, basically. You know, and the Tower, major arcana, major energy. Uh, some kind of great upheaval happened here. Uh, you could be someone who has uh, issues around rejection or abandonment, and this person purposefully played around with that and triggered you. This is someone who this is someone who manipulates. Like they know your triggers and they trigger those triggers. When they want your empathy, they trigger the things that uh, you know make you empathetic about stuff. So just be mindful of this, Pisces. This is a manipulator. You might be better off moving on. Some of you, like with that fool card we got in the beginning of the reading, you know, um, that fool was moving on. It was new beginnings, starting from scratch this person left you with nothing for some of you if you were in a more established connection marriage relationship living together situation that person could have left you with nothing financially um, or left you uh, uh, if it's not that kind of a situation this person left you with nothing emotionally and they want to come back in they could have this could have happened in the winter time maybe even around December time or before uh, at, uh, at some point when it was cold, maybe even in Virgo season, because we have Hermit hair, Virgo energy. Anytime from Virgo energy till now, this person, like, uh, it, it was a big upheaval. This person just, you know, ended things like this, and it didn't feel good. Um, but take these messages as they resonate. If you're... Um, if you're reading for a person that you are thinking about reconciling with and you're kind of moving on and you didn't feel like they were going to communicate with you, I do see communication coming in, though, within a month. Uh, so there's that, boo-boo. And everything else is your own choice, babe. So let me know uh, in the comments below if this is your story. Uh, I'm always curious to hear your stories, Pisces. I will see you next time, and may the angels protect you.